guys, Tim here from Land to Air Fishing. Just going to give you guys a really quick demonstration on how to assemble these products. We're still creating the instructions and how to assemble these things. It's, it's very straightforward. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just did that whole shot and didn't push record on the GoPro. What a muppet. So you're gonna get four screws, four nuts. One, two, three, four. You have to make sure that this is at the back behind the camera so on the battery side. Okay, it's gonna clip in there, it's gonna clip in there. You're gonna push it all the way forward until this hits that stop in the middle. Okay. One clip. Two clip. Screw, 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 screw. Nut, 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 nut. Done. The Mavic, it's a four piece set. Okay. This is what connects to your drone. This little hook here is specifically what locks it into place. And then here, these are your two clips that clip into the back of the drone. There's two hoops, as you've seen in the photos. These two bits at the back here, line up with this hook, okay? And it's just a case of sliding that in. It's really tight fitment. The tolerances on this are really small. There's not really much room for error. We want everything to fit nice and snug, so it's a little tough to get things in, unfortunately, but it's better that way than loose. And then these just clip in as such. Your cross member in the bottom, and it screws in from the back. Okay. Uh, something to mention with the Mavic, you need to go into the software and disable the landing sensors. It's going to give you guys a bit of trouble, so you need to disable that mode, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to be um, interesting going up against some of the big players in the um, drone fishing field uh, for the likes of Gannett and the Sky Riggers. Yeah, I mean, they make some good stuff. You're paying absolute fortune for it unfortunately they have had they have been around a while so they have got a good reputation i uh, wouldn't say they are all fault proof i guess every design um, has its faults and limitations we're pretty confident in the design that we've got where we have no moving parts we have no tension adjustments nothing like that so it's almost not possible to <laughs> It's a big statement, I realise that, but it's almost not possible to stuff up. I guess when the full design is released and made available, you'll see what we mean. The, the only error, the only fault that can really come from using our system is an operator error or a malfunction with the drone itself. Nothing to do with the bait release system as such. Now, I can't say too much more, I really want to. All things will come out very soon. You're gonna fall off your chair when you see what it is that we've been developing behind the scenes. There's been a lot of effort and time put into this. I mean, you guys just see the finished product at the end of the day, but there's been a lot of design and modification and a bit of testing and more testing and more testing and more discussion and more modification and change of materials and so forth and so forth so I, I understand it's taken quite a while to get to where we are i'm actually really confident that it's going to pay off and it's going to be a real winner thanks guys tim from land to air fishing checking out